Hey guys, and welcome back to day 16 of the Strike Back Videothon. I don't know about any of you guys, but I am slowly getting very burnt out on this. And I'm like, I just want to be done. But I want to finish it because I just want to. And this was a really cool idea, but this makes me feel like I need to take like a break from like YouTube afterwards, which I'm not going to because, you know, but anyways. On to today. Today's topic is auto by authors. As always, all the information for Strike Backathon from the creators to the prompts for the 30 day challenge are down below if you want to check them out. So, auto by authors. I don't feel like I have a lot of these. Obviously, coming in at number one, which should be no surprise, especially if you've been around for a while or even if you've been watching my videos just from the Strike Backathon. This really should become no surprise to anybody, and that's going to be Rick Riordan. He is one of my all-time favorite authors ever. I love him so much. As I've said a million times, Percy Jackson holds a really special place in my heart. I've enjoyed Percy Jackson, all of the books. I loved Magnus Chase. I tolerate Apollo Trials, but I literally will buy anything this man writes, like... It's always like, if it's there, it's mine. I'm I'm gonna buy it. It may take me a couple months to get to it, but like, I'm gonna buy it. John Green is another one. Interesting enough, I've said a million times, I am not a contemporary person. I honestly hate contemporary because to me, a lot of it is very, very boring. I'm like, I need something to entertain me. John is one of my favorite contemporary authors. I have enjoyed almost all of his books, except for An Abundance of Catherine's. I enjoyed all of his other books. I've bought everything, like I even like went out of my way and bought a signed edition of Turtles All the Way Down, which of course I loved, and I still need to film a book talk over, but I still don't have my copy back from my friend. I like his stories, I like his characters. What can I say? I'm trash for John Green. Next is another contemporary author, and I'm just kind of like, why? Because I hate contemporary, but she is another special exception to the rule, and that is going to be Rainbow Rowell. Holy crap. I've literally loved everything I've read by her. The I've read everything she's put out except for Landline, and I've loved all of it except for Attachments. I loved her. I think the first thing I read by her was Fangirl. Loved it so much because I related so much to Kath. Like, literally, I feel like I did read it my senior year of high school. I didn't read it while I was in college. But honestly, when I got to college, I was like, this is me. This is so me. And then I also read Eleanor and Park, which will tear your heart apart. But I still think you should read because everybody needs to read Eleanor and Park because it's great. I love Rainbow Roll. I will buy anything she has put out. I, holy crap, I just love her writing. I love her writing style and I really love her characters. She got a special place in my heart. Next, we're gonna have Miss Cassandra Clare, uh, very well known for her Shadowhunter Chronicles, which are great. I am currently rereading Mortal Instruments series right now, and I'm loving it. Not as much as I did the first time, but I'm still enjoying it very much. I like going back and re-seeing the events and seeing what I can remember and like picking up on new things. It's great. I love them, I love her characters. Well, most of her characters, particularly in other series, not so much in the Mortal Instruments series. I just, I love the Shadowhunter world. Urban fantasy is like one of my favorite types of sub-genre, sub-fantasy genres to read about. I just love the unreal within the real. It's my favorite thing in the world. And it makes me think that, you know, real life could be like that, even though it's not. And it makes me sad every day. Also, she's coming out with like, an adult fantasy. I don't know if it's urban fantasy or if it's high fantasy, but she's coming, she's like currently working on the first book of an adult fantasy series that you bet your ass I will be buying the first book as soon as it comes out because her writing style has greatly improved since, you know, the beginning books of the Mortal Instruments series and I am just all here for everything she has to write. <sighs> I'm so excited. All right, and the last auto by author I can think of is more of a new auto by author because I really jumped into his books last year and that's gonna be Brandon Sanderson I've read the Mistborn trilogy the Mistborn trilogy the Mistborn series really it's like broken up into like two eras and I think like 
next year we're getting the first book in another series within the Mistborn world. I really enjoyed it. I loved all the characters. I own several of his other books already that I really need to read and I just love it. I love his writing. I love his fantasy worlds and like one of the really cool things about him is even though he has books that take place like in different areas like you've got the Mistborn and then there's Elantris which I think we're getting a sequel to either this year or next year and then you've got the Stormlike Archive which is like another series. The third book just came out last year and there's also Warbreaker. All of these books like although they're different series taking place, the way he set up his world is he has a Cosmere going on. So all these stories basically take place on different planets within the same universe. And from what I've been told, like I can't testify to anything because like I've said, I've only read Mistborn. But from what I've heard from other people who have read a lot of his other works is you kind of see slight either like mentions or other stuff from people of the other planets that you've met maybe in other books which I think is super cool like Rick Reardon did that in his Percy Jackson series is like you saw a mention you see a mention I know in King Chronicles there's a mention of a flying horse over in New York because they're stationed in Brooklyn and then there is the whole thing of like with the Greeks you're not allowed to go to the other part of the country because it's just like loaded with demons and stuff and it wasn't it was you know something else I just really enjoyed it and I love stuff like that like getting little tidbits to see to go between places so definitely Brandon Sanderson is now an auto buy I just need to like get caught up on everything but like I just want to read all the books and it's so hard so that is going to be it for today's topic today's booktuber I am going to shout out is going to be Emma Venture I just recently found her I was like watching somebody else's video and it popped up in the suggested videos or whatever. She's very cute. I love watching her videos. She, she reads a lot of classics, which I like to kind of do that because, you know, I feel bad that I don't read a lot of classics myself. And she does read a lot of YA. And she's just a really cool person. I like her, so you should totally check her out. She's really chill. And yeah, so that's going to be it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more from me. Until then, I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye!